Before I get going with this, I want to call out that there have been four sneak peek videos already released from some of my fellow creators. I've linked to each one of those below in the description, so go ahead and check those out before you get here. Simple work. Simple work. Hey, what's up, Drudes? I'm supposed to be making a video about this sneak peek uh, that's coming up for the new Juno system. Mine is sneak peek number five, which is about Silero and the two moons and a comet. That's no moon. So I've got three images we're gonna go through. One is Silero and one of its moons. The other is Silero and another of its moons. And then this comet we're gonna talk about. All of these sneak peeks are now available on the Simple Rockets chat Discord server, and I've linked to them below in the video. So if we look at this image here, you can see Silero in the background, Herma here. It's, you know, dark brown. Obviously it's got some craters on the surface. It's not perfectly spherical. It's got these, you know, high points on it. Uh, and so I don't know about you, but I'm kind of looking forward to exploring this thing. I think some of those craters could be great places for new bases. But uh, other than that, uh, it's not got a lot else going on that I can see, so we're gonna leave it there. Uh, the next image to show is this other Silero moon. I'm gonna call it Niobe. And if I had to guess, I'd say Niobe is smaller than Herma. Uh, not really based on the photo, but more based on the what looks like the geometry of the planet. So those craters are pretty big in relation to the overall diameter. And so I would guess that this one's going to be a, a much smaller, rockier moon with a low gravity. But it also looks like it's closer to Silero. So I guess we'll have to find out. So in the sneak peek, Niobe is on a low equatorial orbit and... Herma is on a higher and very inclined trajectory. So Herma is going to be inevitably a lot harder to get to. Niobe might be a little bit quicker um, or something you could get to pretty easily from the surface of Silero if you've got a base set up. So I think that's going to be pretty fun to see if you can colonize that system. Solanum tuberosum. That's the weirdest line I've ever had to say in a movie. The last thing that's called out in this sneak peek is the Andrews Comet, which you probably know this, I think it goes without saying, but the original creator of the game is Andrew Garrison, and so Andrew is a play on his name. That's about it. Uh, so this one orbits Juno, and the orbit dips below Silero and above Tidos. Uh, and then there's a call out that it says every couple of years it will come very close to Drew, don't miss the chance. So I'm guessing that it's going to be on some periodic orbit with Drew. The big question is going to be how quickly is this comet moving when it comes close to Drew? Now comets are notoriously difficult to get to, oftentimes because the, they have highly elliptical orbits, which means they're moving extremely quickly in the lowest part of the orbit, but the lowest part of the orbit is often the easiest to get to. So it's gonna take a ton of DV to get there, and I'm sure it's gonna present a fun challenge for everyone. So that's about it. I couldn't find anything special in any of these images. So, I mean, they look like pretty standard planets. I gotta say, I think the comet idea is super original. As far as I know, this will be the first time in Simple Rockets that they've added a comet that you can get to. I mean, I don't, I don't even have any idea how hard it's gonna to be to get there. Couldn't possibly think of a design, like a rocket design that would get us there. So anyways, super original thought. I love it. Can't wait to see this thing for the very first time. And uh, yeah, can't wait for these new planets, man. I'm looking forward to it. Well. Uh, thanks everyone for watching probably my most boring video ever, but uh, yeah, hope you got something out of it. Download that beta. Peace.
So the, the design of this Comet is modeled after the 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko, damn it. The 67P Churyum, Chury, the 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko, fuck it. I'm gonna have someone else say this for me. Churyu, Yumov Gerasimenko, Pronunciation. The Rosetta Philae spacecraft that visited 67P Churumov Gerasimenko was perhaps ESA's most ambitious. Everything sounds better with a British accent. So clearly this thing's designed after that. Uh, but to me, I swear to God, it just looks like a piece of popcorn. So, I mean, that'll be pretty fun to land on it. Doesn't look like there's an obvious great landing spot, but I'm sure we can go down and get some samples and then drop it in the middle of the ocean.